Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman, and I want to teach you how to do all those little jobs and chores around your house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, welcome. And please, please, please subscribe. There's a little red button here someplace, and just push that. If you're returning, welcome back for another lesson, and get ready, we're about to begin. So today we're out in the garage and we're going to be putting up a smoke detector. Now, they're not hard to put up, but there's a couple of regulations you should know about. Check with your local area, but in my local area, the smoke detector cannot be less than four inches from the ceiling if I'm putting it on the wall, and it's got to be less than four inches from the wall if I'm putting it on the ceiling. Now. Here's our smoke detector that we, that we have. I opened it up already and inside the smoke detector came these little mollies like this. You get two of these and you get two screws. They come in a little convenient package. Also along with that you get their cheapy battery. Now what I like to do is I like to go to the store and I like to get the five to ten year batteries and then this way you don't have to change them for a while. So. Before we actually install this thing, there's one major thing that I do. So what I do is I open up the smoke detector and on the inside lid, I write today's date. This way when I put it up, I know when it was installed. So today is the 5-19-20. All right. That also tells me when the battery was put in. So when I open this thing up again and it's beeping, I say, well, how long has that battery been in here? Ah, it's been up since the 19th of May. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about when it comes to, um, as far as distance from the ceiling and from the wall. So in the area where I live, and your area may differ from this, the smoke detector can't be less than four inches from the ceiling. So on a pencil, I have four and a half. So that gives me an idea. I'll put a little mark right up there, and that tells me where the top of my smoke detector can be. If I were mounting it on the ceiling, it can't be less than four inches from the wall. So then I would put my mark there. You get the idea? So I know where the top of my smoke detector should be. So I'm going to put my smoke detector here. I'm going to open it up and hold it with my, with my hand like this. And with the Sharpie, where the screw holes are, and there's screw holes here and here. Where the screw holes are, I'm going to put a dot with my Sharpie here and there. Okay? Now, I know where my dot is. I got one here and I got one here. And that's where I'm going to mount my smoke detector. So, it was an old screwdriver. I used the very thin part of it. In this particular case, it's because I know that those little grommets are going to work very well in it. And the reason I don't use a drill is because I don't want to drill in and accidentally hit wires. So, I go like this, give it just a little swirl, and then I go like this, and give it just a little swirl just to bring it out. And then I grab those little red mollies that I showed you earlier, and I put one in here. It fits perfect. Now, if you want to figure out what screwdriver you would use to do with these mollies, just put the screwdriver next to the molly. Make sure that the screwdriver is just a little bit smaller than the diameter of the molly itself so you know when you push the hole in, it's not too big. That's all you do. All right, so let's push in the other one. That goes like that. Now, let's take the screws and let's just start them in there. We're just going to start them, just like this. That's it. Just give them a couple of twists. We know they're not going to come out then. We're going to open up 
the smoke detector and we're going to fit it right over top of those screws that we just put in. And we're going to hold it with one hand and our screwdriver I'll take that off get the Phillips head that I want I'm going to hold this hold the smoke detector and I'm going to screw this in there's one There's the other one, nice and firm. Now, one thing to remember is make sure that when you put this in that you open it up like this because when you go to change the batteries eventually, you don't want to have to go and try to figure out how to open it and pull it down and then you're not going to have good easy access to it. The battery, which comes with it, like I said, it's one of those cheap ones, goes in like that. I close the top like that. I push the button, test it, and you win. Putting up a smoke detector is a rel relatively easy thing to do. In our area, and your area may be the same and it may differ as far as where to put them. Um, in every room except for the kitchen and the bathrooms. That includes hallways. So you go in bedrooms, hallways, stairwells, basement, um, living room, dining room, um, any kind of uh, sun room, any place there is except for in the kitchen for obvious reasons because when that alarm goes off that doesn't mean it's dinner time, it means it's burnt. And in the bathrooms because of all of the steam that comes out. And if you're going to put it in the hallway, by the bathroom, don't put it in the bat right next to that particular doorway because when you open the door, steam comes out and there's a chance the smoke detector is going to go off. So in picking a smoke detector, this particular unit here costs about $10. You can get them as much as thirty or forty dollars. You can also get uh, the carbon monoxide detectors as well, and as a combination smoke detector, which would go great in the basement if you are, uh, if you have gas lines in your basement for your uh, furnace or your water heater. Um, that would be a smart move is to get the carbon monoxide detectors down there as well. Any other room in the house, um, do your own research, figure out which ones you want. Uh, and go from that point. But the biggest thing is, is keep you and your family and your possessions safe. And that's the most important thing. Now, again, hooking up a smoke detector is a relatively easy thing to do. I know that you can do this. Don't let anybody tell you you can't. Of course you can do it. Just have somebody show you how. Like me. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There's some sort of a button down here somewhere, some red little thingy that if you would please and and then uh, we'll, we'll see if we can get you to watch some of the other videos I'll see you in the next video